hello there. Sir from 17 once again. This is my Metal Gear Solid 5 S rank video walkthrough. This is episode 2, Diamond Dogs, and there is no ranking here. It's merely a tutorial level, but I'm keeping it in because, of course, this is a walkthrough, so if you were, for whatever reason, struggling to figure out how to go and talk to Revolver Ocelot, or interrupt his conversation by shooting him in the balls, which I just did, which uh, screwed with the scripting, and this video will help you do that. So I'm going to use it as an opportunity to talk about some other things, and the first one is I'm going to try and elucidate a little bit more on the No Traces bonus, which I got on the last mission. So, the No Trace bonus. No kills. No alerts. No reflex mode. Do not press the trigger of any weapon. No CQC. No kicking. No attacks while controlling a vehicle or a walker. No buddy attacks. Never reappear if you use the cardboard box. And no score limiting items. And that is the extent of that score. It nets you, I think, something like 120,000 points. And a lot of the S-rank cutoffs are very close to 130,000. So just by being accurate and getting that, you are guaranteed to get the best rank, pretty much. And something I, I should really look into is the point of the, 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 the little code names that you get. Because they represent things, but there's no best one. The one I thought would be the best would be, of course, Foxhound. But Foxhound, you get, for on the previous three missions, getting the perfect stealth and no kills bonus. And then on the next mission, you get the Foxhound bonus. So it's like, it's a bonus for doing something in advance that you can't do on the first thing. Like, you can't get that on the first level because there's not been three missions to precede it. So it's a really strange kind of thing. And you're going to notice I get Chick a lot. Which, I could look in the guide to see what it means, but I, I assume it's it, it's just as pointless as all of them, really. I mean, I've got Fox Sound, I've got, you know, I've got Fox, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I don't think there is a big boss rank. I could be mistaken. Apparently there's a hero rank, I don't know what that means. But it's, it's just one of those weird things where it seems like, on this game, it's all about the S rank rather than the, the name, or so it seems. I could be wrong, guys. I've only beat the game once. I'm not that knowledgeable with it. That being said, though, it took me 40 hours to beat this game. 40 hours. I don't know about your folks, but I've never spent that long on a Metal Gear Solid on my first playthrough. It just doesn't work that way. I think the longest I ever took was like 17 hours, and that was on Metal Gear Solid 2, where I was just like literally absorbing everything because it's a really special game for me. And even then, like, it's a completely different caliber of Metal Gear, this. It's, it's so different, it really is. And I think it's going to be so divisive in, in, in what people feel. And I've seen a lot of different opinions on it. I mentioned in the, in the last video that I had some strong opinions of myself, and I do. I'm not going to be voicing too many of them too soon, purely because a lot of the videos are too short to go into any real kind of dialogue. But also, I don't want to temper your expectations with, with my opinions just yet. Because I do think that there is so much discourse and discussion that this game deserves. And I, I'm really excited to be part of it, because it isn't a 10. And so many magazines have given it a 10, and then they've gone on to say, oh, but this is an issue, and this is an issue, and this is an issue, but you barely notice it because the game's so fucking good. And I'm sorry, the game is so fucking good, but you just mentioned issues, and if you're mentioning issues, it cannot have a perfect score. We've gone through this. There is no such thing as a perfect score. A perfect score is the gun in our mouth that ends our existence because there's nothing left to strive for. It doesn't exist. And I hate people that give things perfect scores. I truly do. Like... The only thing you can probably give a perfect score is a woman when you're trying to, well, or, or a man, at, at, it's a new world, you know, everybody's getting it on with whoever they want, but somebody who you're in love with or want to physically love, and you're in the path to getting there. That is the only perfect star that you will give, because at that point, your biological engineering is so wired to just feed you bullshit to try and get to that point that you're almost in a state of delirium. Of, of sexual, you know, primal delirium. But outside of those moments, there's no such thing. But once you've done this mission, folks, which we just did, we're going to call the chopper, we're going to get back on it, and then I'm going to run around like an idiot as we wait for it, because as I mentioned, you spend a lot of time waiting in this game. That is pretty much 
this game. It is Metal Gear waiting. It truly is. It's Metal Gear Auto, or Metal Gear Horse, if you want to call it. Some people are calling it Metal Gear Redemption. There are a lot of things you can point at it, but it's something really, really interesting. And I really do like the CQC on this game. It's really visceral. Not the biggest fan of how you trigger it. I think it should be much easier to do, but then again, that's just me. So that's the end of the mission, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.